Okay, so this video is looking at bearings, uh, and it fits under the geometry reasoning standard. So the two things that you've got to remember is it's going to probably include Pythagoras and trigonometry, and it's also probably going to use uh, the rules about parallel lines. So that's that's your background. Now, the key thing to remember about bearings is bearings are always measured from a point from the north line clockwise. So there's my north line. So if I go through this, I'm going to read through my sentence and then we're going to work out. So Holy walks on a bearing of 0, 3, 6. So that basically means 36 degrees because bearings have to be three digits on a distance of 3.5 kilometers to get to Laura's house. So if I've got my picture there, here's my pen, that's Haley's house. And she's going to walk on a bearing to get to Laura's house. And the bearing is 36. And the distance is 3.5k. Right, once she gets to Laura's house, I need to put a new north line in. She's going to walk on a bearing of 126 for, a bear for 5 kilometres to get to Alana's house. Right, so if I walk on a bearing of want to go on a bearing of 126, so that's probably about there. So that's 1, 2, 6 degrees, and that's 5 km, and that is Alana's house. I'm not ready to draw the rest of my picture yet, because it doesn't matter. However, there's my north line from Alana, because it says how far she got to walk home to her own house from Alana's, and what is her bearing. So my first thing I want to work out is this distance here, and the second thing I want to work out is the bearing from north all the way around to there. Now, I probably won't have enough time to do this in one video, so we're going to start, and then we'll fill in the rest in the second video if we need to. So... The first thing to realise is these two lines here are parallel. So therefore I know that I can work out this angle here because those two are co-interior. So that's 144 because co-interior angles add up to 180. So that's 144. Now I notice that if that's 144 and that's 126 and the whole thing has to add up to 180, then it means that this angle must be the right angle. And that's kind of key because now I can work out the length of this side because I'm going to use Pythagoras for them because that's a right angle. I've got the two shorter sides. So if I draw it over here. I've now got a triangle that's 3.5 kilometres there. And there's my right angle. Oops, sorry, that went slightly skew with. There's my right angle. And that's 5 kilometres there. Scale's not looking very good. And then if I join those two up, I can go 3.5 squared plus 5 squared square rooted. And to be honest, you're kind of looking for that every single time. So I can answer the first part of my question that the distance from Alana's house back to Haley's house is 6.1 kilometres. Done.